So I've got a note to myself here, uh, a comment to, uh, to myself that says that we need to figure out how to do a copyright symbol for the text below. So let's figure that out now. Um, the reason we can't just cut and paste um, copyright symbols is that they're not necessarily going to display the same way in every single browser and, and or in every single computer. So we need to actually insert, when you're writing HTML, there's little little bits of code, little special code that, that will get translated into the symbol that you want. Um, when I'm talking about symbols, I'm talking about things like copyright symbols, trademark symbols. I'm even talking about some letters, some special letters like, like accented letters or special letters that are non-standard non letters in the in the English alphabet. Um, so let's figure out how to do this. Um, what I always do is uh, some of the codes you just end up using so much that you learn them by heart, but I'm not good at learning things by heart. So instead what I do is I, I tend to just do a quick Google search and I'm going to look up HTML codes. I'm just going to look that that up. What we're looking for is a table of ASCII characters and symbols. Any of these would do, but I just always click on lazy. I click on the first one and here, this will help us. Here what we see here is a list of HTML codes for a whole bunch of characters that you might want to have on your website. And um, these are kind of, I mean, these are some symbols here, like here's an ampersand, that's actually something. Um, but let's look for the copyright one, and I'm going to scroll down here. These are all plain letters. We don't need to type out codes for that, although you actually could, which is kind of funny. Let's scroll down. Ah, here we go. This is what we want. See right here? This, uh, here's the copyright symbol. That's the symbol that we want, and it actually says in the description here, copyright sign. And what you want, you're looking for either the HTML name, or I like to use the HTML number, and the HTML number is a ampersand, uh, number sign, 169, and then a semicolon. And it's important to include that entire thing. And guess what, folks? I don't like typing this stuff out. Um, I like copying it. I'm going to select it all. I'm just going to copy that. And let's switch over to our text wrangler. And what we're going to do is we're just going to replace the word copyright with this little symbol right here. Now, doesn't look right on here, um, but wait wait till you see what happens. I save that and let's go back to our Google Chrome and let's go and reload this. So keep an eye on this right here. We're going to hit reload. There's the symbol. So even though it's a, a you know, this weird code, this ampersand or hashtag 169 semicolon, then the browser knows how to interpret this and the browser will interpret that correctly consistently no matter what browser you're in. So if you're cutting and pasting text from a different source and your source includes things like, you know, maybe accent aigu in French or or different types of special characters. Like here's a few examples like, you know, the yen sign, for example, or or all sorts of or like, you know, half the symbol for a fraction of one half or here's a whole bunch of of uh, you know, accents, you know, accent a gra grave or a acute and all sorts of things like that. Um, you can go ahead and you can copy that. You can try copying that in your, your, your HTML code, but then when you load it up in Chrome or Safari or Firefox or whatever, you're going to have funky stuff happen. So you don't want that. So that's how we add a copyright symbol or any symbol, in fact, um, to a, a website. Um, and that's it. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.